Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Fabiana and every week I, sh I teach you how to make different swimwear. I normally make both sets, okay, and this weekend, this week we are making um, a kid bikini, okay, that's, um, this is a um, bikini top for kids, okay, this size I think would fit kids from 6 to 8 years old, maybe 9, around 9 or 10, maybe 6 to 10, I would think so. But um, for babies, I would probably make 3, only 3 flowers for a baby, okay? And if you have a teenager you want to make for your daughter and she's from 12 to 15 years old, you can make four, four flowers at the bottom and three and two and one. That's and that's an adult size. So that's a small size for like um, an A and B cup. Okay. So you can use the same design to make for an adult as well, okay? And so I'm going to show you here the yarn that I used for this is the Fixation Yarn from Cascade Yarns. Okay, it's a Brazilian yarn, but it's made, it's sold in America, okay? And as you can see, it stretches. Okay, if you don't have this yarn, you can use the four ply cotton yarn, it's the same thing. The only thing for the four ply, I would use a smaller hook, but you can still use the hook I'm using, is a 2.1 millimeters hook. Okay, you can use 1.6 as well. And so, these are the colors. For this project, you would probably use around 30 to 40 grams of yarn. So each of these balls, they are... Let me see what's the weight... 50 grams, okay? 50 grams and 100 yards. So you need around 30 to 40 grams to make just the top and 30 to 40 grams to make the bottom. But because we are using all the colors, you know, they're all here. These are the colors I'm making because I had them at home. So, and as well, you need the thread, the needle, and the Lycra. This is a beach lycra, okay, it's the most common lycra, it's just 20% nylon, 80% uh, uh, nylon. Well, it's, the, it's the, just the basic lycra, it's a bit more thick, okay, than the light lycra. But it's very easy to find in any, like, um, a fabric shop. Okay, that's, that's how it looks like. I hope you guys enjoy this, enjoy this tutorial. It's a very easy tutorial, okay? I'm gonna teach you how to make the flowers and how to join them together and then how to make it look like a triangle around it. Okay, and that's it guys, let's start this project right now. Um, to start this bikini, I placed all my colors here. So it's just easy to grab one by one. And we're gonna start with a magic ring. So the way I do it is I just make two loops around my fingers like that. Put the first one in front of the second one. And then just take it out of your fingers and make one, two, three, four chains. Two loops around the hook and we're going to make the, our first triple crochet. 
but just don't finish it right now because we are going to make two double crochet, two triple crochets together. And so go through it once, then twice, and then finish them all and make one, two, three, four chains and a single crochet in your magic ring there and then repeat the same thing again so one, two, three, four chains two loops around the hook for your triple crochet and so one, two leave it there another triple crochet here finish them all and one, two, three, four chains and a single crochet in your magic ring I try to always make the stitches on top of both ends so this way you finish this one already so one more time one two three four two loops for the triple crochet one two another triple crochet finish them all together and one two three four chains so repeat this six times because we need six petals for this flower okay so i'm going to finish this flower here and you make your flowers there too and then i'm going to start making the other colors um, to connect with this one here are my six petals and then i made four chains and then here I'm going to make a slip knot to finish this flower. Okay, and now you can cut this yarn, and we're going to start making the second flower. So pull it here and pull this until you can't pull it anymore. you have a gap like a little hole in the middle just like this and what I do here I actually I make a knot make two little knots just like this and then with your hook Put it through a few, a few stitches, sorry, and then put it here. Then you can cut it off. So now we are going to start the second color. Okay, I already made this one, and so the second color is this one, and we are going to connect the second. A flower in two of the petals so I'm gonna show you how to do that so start your petal your flower your next flower with this violet color and then I'm going to show you how to join them both together so here I made four petals already and the last two I'm going to connect with the, the other flower and the way I do it is I make one, two, three, four chains and then your two triple crochets together when you finish these two triple crochets together we're going to connect on the wrong side of your so you're gonna be looking at the wrong side of the flower okay the right side is where you can see the 
the little the chains they actually um, go on top of of the of the two stitches of the two double crochets together and that's the front of the flower so the back we're gonna connect looking at the back part of the flower and on the same stitch so right on top where you made your two double crochets together yeah right on top there we are going to connect this way so put the two one in front of the other and then we are going to put the hook through grab the yarn and make a single crochet here okay so again with the back part of the pink one we are going to put through that um, same stitch we are now the middle stitch put it through pull it through and make a single crochet and then after that we're gonna make one two three four chains and our single crochet here and then we're going to make the next petal which is one two three four two double crochet two triple crochets together and then we are going to connect another one so same way on the back of the pink flower pull it through make a single crochet and then one two three four chains and we are going to finish this flower here with our slip knot and another chain here too cut this yarn okay so pull this one six petals six petals and then make make that little knot behind here so it won't open later one two times and then hide this yarn behind some stitches here and then we're going to start the next color okay our next color is the light pink so you can start that and then we're gonna connect this light pink with this purple flower now okay so we're gonna connect on these two petals here okay so start your pink flower and then when you are on the last two petals we're gonna connect together or just repeat this actually so repeat the same you did for this flower now it's gonna be our pink flower okay this way pink flower okay so my next pet uh, my next flower i'm making is the yellow one okay and the yellow one i'm going to start connecting this from this side to that side because that's the or the way we are going with the crochet so on the second petal it can be okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna make my second petal here it doesn't really matter you only the only thing that matters is you have to have um, three petals left on this one to start connecting because you need three petals to connect here if you understand what I'm saying so I'm going to start this way because uh, here because I'm going that way okay so from here to there and I'm going to connect with this one the middle one and this one so right now I'm going to connect with the 
purple one here right on the top on my top stitch make sure you grab both sides of your stitch both parts of it both parts of it and then pull the hook through pull it and make a single crochet here and then one two three four chains and single crochet here one two three four chains and then your two triple triple crochets here and then right after finished i finish my two double crochets i'm going to connect here right in the middle of this stitch here the same way okay so right there where you had the pink stitch and then one two three four and back to the flower the yellow flower again one two three four your two triple crochets here and then we are going to connect now with the next pink petal here right in the middle stitch with of that pink petal we are going to make a single crochet and then one two three four chains okay and then we have four petals here we still have to make two more so one two three four chains your two triple crochets together one two three four chains and then you make one more petal and finish this um, and finish this next flower okay so I'm going to the green next so we are the green is our next flower I'm gonna finish this yellow one and I'm, I'm going to show you how to connect the green flower because the green flower connects one two three four petals so in the middle of these two and in the middle of these two okay here with the green my first petal and I'm going to start the second one to connect with all the the other flowers okay so two triple crochets and then here I'm going to connect first always from this side to that side so from the right to the left that's the way we're going so and on the back of my of my bikini here of my flowers here okay so i'm gonna pull pull the hook through this middle stitch in this petal here and then i'm going to make my single crochet and one two three four chains connect there with the flower one two three four make another petal one triple crochet two triple crochets and then we're going to connect in the middle here in between these two flowers i normally use here i put it through here right in the middle of both stitches pull it through and make a single crochet and then your four chains back to this flower here four more chains your two triple crochets and 
and then we are going to connect with our next flower which is here so we're going to connect with these two here so put your hook through the middle of this single crochet here that you have in between the petals and make another single crochet here and one two three four chains come back to your magic ring there and then the last flower gonna uh, petal we're gonna connect this one so one two three four your two triple crochets together and then we're going to connect to this last flower here of the yellow the last petal of the yellow flower so one two three four and then back i'm gonna pull it a bit to start closing this flower back to the flower here and then you make two more petals for this green flower and then our last flower is the light blue one so two two four six can finish here so I'm going to finish with a slip knot I didn't think was the last was my last petal this one but it is cut your yarn there okay and then pull here and pull this one to close this flower and then don't forget to make your two knots here on the back one two then put it through a few stitches here on the back on this bikini we are going to put lining after okay so that's why i'm not too worried about these tails here i'm just gonna cut them like that because they're not gonna show anyway and we made a, li a really good knot here okay so now i have two more to make one more to make which is this one and so this last one you're gonna connect three petals one two three okay so i'm gonna start it and when i have three petals left i'm gonna show you how to connect but is the same way we did with the other ones okay i made my three petals here and made the fourth one all the way to where i have to connect with this um all these other flowers so now i'm gonna so this is the right part facing the wrong side of your crochet we are going to connect here so right on the top stitch there oops right on the top stitch here we are going to make one single crochet and then one two three four chains make sure you don't twist the flower here okay the flowers they have to be always uh, facing all of them facing right okay facing the right part of your crochet then single crochet there in in my ring and then one two three four chains your two triple crochets together and then now we are going to connect here so 
in between these stitches anywhere you want to you can put your yarn but I always make put it um, on the stitch that was made on top of the other like if if I made this single crochet to connect the green one to connect with the yellow that's where I'm going to make put my single crochet through my hook through to make the single crochet here and one two three four chains my two two triple oops now first I have to connect here join on my ring and then one two three four two double crochets together this is my last petal for this flower Okay, here made my last stitch and now I'm going to connect with this top one of my yellow flower. So single crochet here and then my one, two, three, four chains and then back to my flower. This is my last petal so I'm going to make a slip stitch here. And then another chain to just close this flower. Okay, so close this flower. Make your knot on the back. And then we are going to start working around the top like I already made this one. Okay, with the pink color. If you want to use any of the other colors, it's fine. You know, it's just whatever color you prefer, whatever color your kid prefer, you know what I mean? But I'm using the pink. I'll probably use the turquoise to go around it later. I still haven't decided yet. <laughs> you tell me and I think this color here kids normally like the turquoise color so okay I'm, I'm gonna finish this last this last flower here and then I'm gonna show you how to make our how to make the triangle around it because I always like to make both sides exactly the same I'm going to start here on this um, turquoise color or light blue color color right as you can see here right here in this petal here the middle one so I have three left in the middle one and I'm going to start right here in this middle stitch here okay pull the red the pink through and make a um, single crochet with both sides of the yarn the tail and the other one so you already give it a finishing and then from here we're going to make one two three four chains in between each petal okay and then a single crochet right on the top stitch here let's see Yeah, right in the middle here. That's my middle stitch. And then I'm going to make one, two, three, four chains. And then I'm gonna make here a double crochet right in the middle here. So the same thing we did before, right in the middle of both flowers. A bit hard to put it through here. It's a tight stitch. Mm. So double crochet there because that way we form we start forming our triangle and always one, two, three, four chains in between them and then a single crochet right on the top of that next um, petal of our flower 
and again one two three four and then on double crochet right there in, in the middle of the two flowers right here and one two three four connect to this next petal here one two three four and then here four again so repeat this all the way to the other side all the way until you get here and then we're gonna make a single crochet row all around again okay our single crochet row and then i'm gonna show you how to finish this top so i finished this row here with a um, single crochet in that same stitch where we started and now i'm going to start making um, single crochets on top of these chains that i had before so every four chains i'm making three single crochets so start with one here two three i'm already covering that tail as well i had behind i had before and then the fourth single crochet will be in that single crochet right on top of your petal there and then um, three again here so one two three the fourth is gonna be on top of that double crochet that i had before and then one two three around the chains and fourth here so just repeat that all the way around the work until you are back on the other side here okay i'm gonna repeat i'm gonna make it here and make yours there and then uh, we're gonna we are going to finish this bikini connecting both sides together so first here put them uh, side by side and decide uh, which flower you want you want on the top and which ones on the bottom so i decided that i wanted my pink flower on the top so i put them both side by side make sure they are always facing right okay now i'm going to get this first part of the top here and i decided to make with the pink around so i'm gonna start right here in this corner stitch and i'm going to make single crochet so pull the yarn through single crochet with both sides together and then put that tail right on top there because we are going to cover it so one single crochet in the next single crochet pull this one a bit and then keep making single crochets one each single crochet from before when you covered enough of the tail we can put it behind like that and just keep working here just making single crochets and then we are going to join both sides together when we finish this top here so go all the way to the end there and then we are going to connect with the other side okay and then always making sure they're both on the same side and the flowers are on the same sequence as well so yeah um i finished right here right on top of this uh, petal here the middle one of this last flower 
and then I'm going to make only two chains in between both parts, okay? That's gonna be in the middle here. And then I'm going to connect with that corner stitch right there, the one right on top of the petal, and then connect with a single crochet. And then just single crochet around all the way to the other side. Here, right on the corner of this second part of my top. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start making um, an edge for it and I'm gonna make the picot stitch. That's a stitch that I really like and I think it's gonna look nice on this one. So after this last single crochet on the corner there, make another single crochet here to start going up the sides, the side of this triangle, and another one here. And then we are going to make two chains, a single crochet in the single crochet before, and then skip one here, and another one, two, three single crochets in between them. So it's, it's going to be one single crochet in each single crochet from before. Two chains here, one single crochet in that last single crochet, and then skip one here, and a single crochet here. So one, two, three, then repeat. So you'll be doing that all the way to get to this stitch here, where we're gonna be making the first strap that's gonna go to the top of this bikini, to the neck. Right here, right on top of uh, the bikini top, the triangle, right on top of my triangle, and um, here right in this right in this middle stitch here, the one right on top of this leaf of my flower. And so now with the of the petal of my flower, sorry. And now I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, seven chains. I think it's enough for a kid. Eight from six to eight years old. And then on the way back I won't do this, I'm not, I decided not to do this stitch, I'm just gonna make a um, straight strap because it's gonna be easy to open and close because kids are normally playing around and that and that's gonna be easier. So count four chains from the hook and then make your first single crochet there. Another one chain, skip one here, and another single crochet. So one chain, skip one, single crochet in the next one. One chain, skip one, single crochet. So repeat this all the way until you're back here. Okay, you're gonna single crochet right here and then you're gonna continue, in ma continue making this um, picot stitch around the entire piece. Here you, right on top here, you're gonna have your second strap. Okay, so I'm making this one and all the way around here until I'm back here, okay, because it's just the same thing. So finish yours there and then I'm gonna finish mine here and then we're gonna go, um, we're gonna make these straps to the side as well. So I made it all the way. As you can see, that's how it looks in the middle there. And then with the picot stitch here, the straps with 70 chains each. And then now I'm going to make straps 
uh, to the back part of it, which is gonna be exactly the same. So 70 chains to this side and back the same way we did here. And then we are going to make the picot stitch underneath as well. And then at the end here we are going to make the last strap. On the way back we're gonna finish with a slip knot and that's our bikini finished. And then after this I'm just gonna teach you how to how to put the lining underneath it. Okay, our lining is gonna be lycra. I'm gonna use lycra because I wanna I want this color here. But if you have polyamide it's okay as well. It's just gonna be skin color then. So that's it. 70 chains to the side here. On the way back, single crochet here, and then your pico stitch on the bottom as well. So made this strap here, and then went underneath with that pico stitch the same way we're doing on the sides here. Okay, and then to cut this lining, what I did was uh, I place I placed the fabric right on top of my bikini piece, and then I cut the first one, and then the second one I just put the first one on top of the um, fabric, and I cut that way. And so the um, thread I'm using is a very similar color to the color I chose, which is a shiny like, as you can see, it's, it's shiny. It's a shiny lycra that I'm going to put underneath here. It's um, just normal lycra. It's called beach lycra, I think. So with this thread, we're gonna put it through here. And then again, to make a little knot so it doesn't open later. Okay, and then we're gonna Put the needle underneath it and start sewing this way. Okay, it's gonna be all these stitches. I just finished here to stitch it. Okay, that's the way I do it if it's for friends or if it's for your own daughter or something like that. Okay, I don't I don't really fold the ends here, but if you're making it for say to sell to your clients or on your website or anything like that, you might as well fold the end here of your fabric, like fold it a bit while you're stitching it, or even make it in your sewing machine. So, yeah, I did it this way because for a friend, and it's much faster and easier. And this uh, this fabric doesn't really peel off, so it's no problem doing this way. It's gonna be fine. So this is how our top looks like. I think it's gonna be look awesome. 
in my um, friend's daughter. I'm gonna give her um, for Christmas. And so I hope you enjoyed this um, this tutorial. Um, and I uh, yeah, hope hope you enjoyed it and give me a like on my video and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be definitely making more uh, swimwear, kids swimwear, because it's 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 they're fast projects and there's not many nice bikinis for kids around. So I'll be making more in the next few weeks. See you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good week, you all. Bye.